excited at that level, but obviously Chris Pelosi put up some big numbers in the USHL last year at Sioux Falls as the slap shot from Benoit way off target. Back the other way, it's Ritzkovian from a sharp angle in front, bouncing puck, and that one got in on the rebound. A couple of deflections in front, and the former Bobcat, Christophe Pellier, makes it one nothing for the Huskies. And he points to his new crest. He's excited to get that first goal. It pinballs around behind Marinev. And that's going to be an unfortunate bounce for the Bobcats in this home squad. But you're gonna see, we mentioned some of those awkward angle tries. It was a centering attempt. Initially doesn't go behind the goal line. Tellier last touch. And he sells third player, the empty net to our right. And Jack Williams, the captain for Northeastern with an empty crease and an extra attacker. Over to Tellier, who's got the goal and an angle chips it across, they score! Dylan Ritzkovian, and it was Tellier, the former Bobcat, a great setup. And Northeastern under the late penalty lead 2-0. Great play by Tellier, but even the soccer play to feed Tellier for the two-on-one rush. And you're gonna see here just the part where Tellier feeds Ritzkovian, getting a second point of the afternoon. And to add some salt to the wound, Bobcats will still be short-handed here, but 2-0 right now for Northeastern. Meanwhile, Noah Air got hooked. No call as Joe Connor leads it in front, a shot to save the rebound, and they score on the second effort. Cutting to the left wing side was Joe Connor, the former Muskegon Lumberjack, and the freshman makes it 3 0 Huskies. That's a great design play. That's a pass off the pads. The initial shot was not intended to be a goal, but there's a juicy rebound, so you're going to see a nice pass in tight. Marinov way out of position. Defenders try and get in the lane, but a quick release there by Joe Connor. It's on the roster. Alex Power to Benoit. Ricketts. Ricketts was engaged in something behind the net. I couldn't quite describe it. It was physical play where the <laughs> puck was a good 90 feet away from those guys. Meanwhile, Power looking for Lemoy. Tracked back by Ricketts along the side. And it's off the boards and moving down is Pennington. Thrown in front, they score! Chris Pelosi, and he is a beast in front of the net. Deflects it to give the Bobcats their first goal of the game. That's a big body of Pelosi. Beautifully designed point shot. Gets through to Pelosi, who's completely unmarked at that last second. And then it ricochets high above the glove hand for the Bobcats' first goal of this exhibition unofficially in terms of Marinoff's numbers. Whitehead is still in goal for Northeastern. As Fury looking in front, a quick chance, Altman to save the rebound, they score! James Fisher, the Burlington, Massachusetts native who won a Clark Cup with Andon Serbone as a teammate a couple of years ago, makes it a three-goal lead once again. And those are the things that you just don't want to have happen if you're the Bobcats right there. Two different Bobcats watching the puck. No one marks Fisher as James Fisher is able to sweep in from the left circle. And At 6 o'clock as the Bobcats women's club battling Providence, and he'll be doing some color commentary on a handful of games with us. He was... Quickly anointed an on-air <laughs> broadcast star last year when he joined us while he was out with a hand injury. And he reached out and said, hey, I'd like to do it again. So, of course, we said yes. Back to the point. Blaze with a shot. Hit off the body of Marcellus. Cipollone tracks it back down. Wide open. Benoit in front. Back in. They score! Alex Power on the rebound. It's a two-goal game once again. It's a goal barrage in the later half of this second period, and that is such an Alex Power type of goal. As he gets to the front of the net, gets a greasy goal. Initial tip-in try is saved by Whitehead. Second chance go to the line. Pennington tries to fire it toward one second and zero. The horn sounds, and this one is over. And Northeastern, an exhibition play, defeat the Bobcats by a final score of 4-2. An impressive showing certainly by Northeastern that barrage of goals nearing the end of the second period ended up being the difference, but 
The goaltending Cameron Whitehead, he allowed two goals, but stood on his head in the early going, and then Sigurdsson closed the door in the third for the Huskies. Well, Northeastern limited to just four shots in the third period. Quinnipiac out shooting them 26 to 20. And aside from the score, the Bobcats did a lot of things well. Northeastern did a lot of things well, but both teams.